Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel Mathematics Parshala. This is a problem of CSIR NET December 2023 Mathematical Sciences. The question ID is 704027 and this is a problem of linear algebra part B. In fact, this is the first problem of linear algebra in part B. So let first let us uh, try to solve this question. See the question first. IN is the n by n identity matrix and then which of the following statements is true. So for the option one, given that A is a real 3 by 2 matrix and B is a real 2 by 3 matrix, then uh, such that B equal to I2, then A B equal to I3 or not. So see here, since uh, actually here B equal to I2, then uh, actually we don't need this actually see here if if possible we suppose that a b equal to i3 then just calculate the rank of these two matrices so rank of i3 equal to 3 and this is equal to <coughs> rank of a b and we know that uh, we actually here denote rank of a by row a so now this rank of A is actually less than equal to minimum of rank of A comma rank of B. This is a well known result in linear algebra. And since A is a uh, 3 by 2 matrix, so rank of A is at most 2. And also since B is a mat uh, 2 by 3 matrix, so rank of B is also at most 2. So this rank of A actually less than equal to 2 and rank of B is also less than equal to 2. So this is less than equal to minimum of 2 comma 2. This is equal to 2. So 3 less than equal to 2 which is a contradiction. So this case cannot happen. So option 1 is not the correct option. Now look at option 2. A is this matrix. This is for option 1. For option 2, A is this matrix 3, 3, 1, 2. Then there is a matrix B with integer entries such that A B equal to I2. So if possible suppose such B exists. So B is say A, B, C, D where A, B, C, D are from integers. Then calculating this A, B equal to I2 just we find 4 relations. Uh, from this, the first one is we will get 3a plus 3c equal to 1 and similarly the other will be uh, something something just uh, you need to check it. So for the first option C here 3 into a plus c equal to 1 and when this a, b, c, d are from integer so this actually cannot happen. Then a plus c must be an integer, so it in this case cannot happen. So option two is not the correct option. Sorry, in option one we have just given right, so it will be not right. Just we verify that option one is not the correct option, so we need to write this option one was not the correct option, and now we get option two is not the correct option. Now look at option four first because we will show that this option also cannot be correct. See, if A is a, for option 4 this is, so if A is a real non-zero 3 by 3 diagonal matrix, then there is a real matrix B such that A B equal to I3, just take A equal to like this 1, 2, 0, because if this option would be 4, then it will be true for any uh, 3 by 3 non-zero real diagonal matrix. So take one matrix like this. So here option for this rank of A will be 2 and this other element will be 0. So so this AB 
so this rank of ab must be less than equal to just for uh, from this result that it will be less than equal to minimum rank of a common rank of b so it will be less than equal to rank of a and that is equal to 2 so it cannot be equal to i3 because if a b equal to i3 then rank of a b would be equal to 3 so this case cannot happen so option 4 is not the correct option so option 3 will be the correct option only and for this to prove this to prove this a is this 2 by 2 matrix 3 1 1 2 in z6 actually z by 6 z uh, by 6 z is isomorphic to z6 we all know that then given that there is a matrix b with entries in z6 also such that a b equal to i2 so this can uh, this can be proved in this way that if we suppose b equal to a b c d then we have to find what a b should be in a b c d should be these entries so calculating this uh, just we will get four relations and for which such a b c d in z6 it can happen just calculating we can find that this a b c d will be like this a equal to 4 that is class 4 b equal to class 1 c equal to class 1 and d equal to class 3 we are not writing class just writing the elements then just if we calculate this a b then what we get this 3 1 1 2 b is 4 1 1 3 this calculation keep in mind that it is happening in z6 so now it will be uh, 12 plus 1 13 uh, 3 plus uh, 3 6 it will be 4 plus 2 6 and it will be 1 plus uh, this is 1 plus 6 7 uh, keep in mind it is happening in z6 so there is no element 13 it will be actually 1 this is actually 0 this is actually 0 and this 7 is actually 1 so we do we do we should not write this because it is in z6 we should write directly this element so it is actually i2 so now for if we take a equal to this 3 1 1 2 then we have one element from z6 one element from z6 such that a b equal to i2 in z6 so option 3 is the correct option so see this question here only option 3 is the correct option and 1 2 4 are not the correct options this is the solution of this problem